Once I'm spar class, just like I said, make sure you got plenty of water. Put some water out to the side. Again, swish, don't guzzle. Uh, if you ever seen water go into a hot frying pan and go sizzle, 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 you don't want that to be like your guts. So if you just got done your workout just like I did, and you were working your kicks from Miss Joanna's class, and you're jumping into spar, no doubt you probably warmed up a little bit. This one's going to be a little bit more of a, um, a slower movement, kind of like your slow kicks, and we're going to warm up our legs, and then we're going to jump right into some stuff involving your X that we had. I did explain that you would need this thing. If you don't have it, it's not a big deal. Your uh, your little cross section. This, by the way, this workout is coming from Mr. Kevin. Mr. Kevin uh, gave me a detailed uh, list of things that he wants his guys to do. So this is his maniacal plan to get you guys to be beaten into submission. So you can always send him a text and say, thank you, Mr. Kevin. We appreciate it. All right, you ready? Listen. All right, Jim. Please teach me. Some of these guys at home, please teach me. All right, so first things first, we're going to go to kicks. All right, so we're going to go up to the rail here. The goal is not to be using a, a, you know, something that is going to be moving. I'm looking for something stationary. Don't put your hand on the wall at home because you're going to put fingerprints on it. Um, what this is is going to be a 10-second kick. It's going to take 10 seconds. You're going to extend the leg, hold it for five seconds, and then bring it down for five seconds. You're not going to slowly bring it out. You're going to hold it. And then you're gonna have a break, and then you're gonna hold it, and then you have a break. Okay? And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do five on each side for now. And we might come back and get some more. Alright, so we're all gonna do this together. So at home, again, you got your hand on a rail or a chair or something that's ready to go, got your guard up, and uh, when we're picking it up, we're gonna count. So I want you to count at home. So it's gonna go like this. We're gonna hold it up and we're gonna hold it. And we're gonna count. One, two, three, four, five. That's one. And don't put it down. One, two, three, four, five. Here's two. One, two, three, four, five. technical detail of uh, you know, picking up the foot and everything and making sure that I don't want to you see it just hits the foot position at the very end because you know how you get there is important but we're going to count when it's at the end and we're going to count when it's chambered we're not going to put it down we're just going to chamber it back to here and then we're going to kick it out again and hold it back to here make sense at home okay all right got some good uh, belly button or higher kicks Mr. Ben oh, here goes all right, what's that? Guards up. Remember, this hand's being used. I'm not having you guys hold, uh, hold your leg up with balance. I want to take away the balance. We're working the muscles instead. All right, so here it goes. Ready? Hold it up and turns and goes one, two, three, four, five. 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 Can we speed on that one again? Yes, you Switch sides. All yes, right. Our left leg is going to be huge because we're going slow, and our red leg is going to be we'll be walking around like this. Arnold Schwarzenegger on one side. All right. Let's slow it down a little bit. All right. Got the guard up. Hand on the rail. Ready? Push it up. Rotates it. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Mr. Kevin is it's emphasizing where the chamber is going to go. 
Um, for the roundhouse, it's, it's, it's kind of like, it's a flick out and pull back, like a, like a Swiss Army knife. Extend it, pull it back. For a sidekick, it's like a piston. So when you're throwing out your sidekick from this position and the extension is coming out, it's gotta go back, it's gotta go back to your guts. So counting it there and focusing on where it's gonna end up going after your kick, I think that's important. All right, ready? Okay. All right, so you got the guard all the way up, slow on this one. All right, fix it up, rotate, and hold it out, and one, two, two three, three, four, five. five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, they're getting a walk. Right. All right. So I'll wait for them. All right. I'll just give them a couple of moments here. Are they back? And we're back. We're back. It was a fast walk. All right. Get a walk, and then all of a sudden. <laughs> okay. All right. So uh, Mr. Kevin had some uh, some uh, goals in mind for you guys to be able to work this this uh, uh, X this uh, square. And the thing that we did, we did those ten second kicks. So. Please feel free to, you know, oh, I could do the same thing for an into out, an out to in, a hook kick. We just did snap round and side. And the legs are nice and warm. So now we're going to do continuous combinations. This is great no matter what class you take. Honestly, I think this is something that Mr. Randy had us do a long time ago where it was like, all right, it was, it was kata style combinations. It was one right after the other. Um, and, and there was no time for switching, no time for getting it set up. It was just one move after the other. So, so. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to use this streaming drill with uh, starting with white belt combinations. Hey. Okay. All right, so let's uh, put you uh, – let's see. I'm going to actually put you on the center of the floor here. So, so. All right, so I'm going to around here, Mr. Ben. Hey. There we go. All right, we're going to fire it towards this direction. So, so. All right, so everyone should know their white belt combinations. So I'm looking for front hand punch, back hand punch, front leg snap kick, back leg snap kick. Now, this is uh, your side kick now. There's two ways of looking at this. You could switch your feet and then side kick and then back leg side kick. I like kind of just going right into it. Right. So punch, punch, snap, snap, side, side. Nice streaming drill of kicks and punches. All right. So this is what you're going to end up doing. The goal is, is to go slow, medium, and fast. Slow detail, make sure that you're taking your time. And then as we get to our, our third count, then you're like, bang, 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 bang. Just, okay, so white belt, on a count one, I want to see one through six, Mr. Ben's face. He's going to go nice and slow. You stick with him. All right, starting off with the left hand for front hand punch. Ready? One, go. Pop, pop. Snap kick, snap kick. Side kick, side kick. All right, everyone okay with that speed? Okay, a little bit faster. All right, ready? Breathe. Go. Punch. Punch. Snap. Snap. Side. Side. Okay. Last one. Fast one. Wait. This is what you're thinking about. Is when the judge says fight. I want to see that. Pop. 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 Wait. Not one than the other. Just All right. Ready. Fast one. When the judge says fight. Ready. Pop. 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 Whoa. There we go. Woo. There you go. Good. Did anybody keep up with that? Yeah. Excellent. Cool. Yeah. 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 All right. Orange. Yellow belt combinations, we're jumping ahead of ourselves. All right, so for any of my beginner ranks that don't know the next set of combinations, give it a shot. 
uh, you know, this is kind of like a blitz. I'm going to teach the combination quickly. The goal is not to memorize the combination in terms of a strike. We're using these for combinations, using these for good drills uh, and for spar. So, All right, so the yellow belt, let's do a front hand punch, back hand punch. That's number one. A step through double punch, a snap kick, back hand punch, an opposite snap kick, back hand punch, a side kick, same side punch, and the back leg side kick, same side punch. A little different than you're used to, because you're used to, wait a second, wait a second, let me get to combination number five. Okay, I, okay, side kick, and okay, that's how it's supposed to go. You're firing from the back now, so changing how it works a little bit, we're using it for the situation where we're having to follow a person that's backing up. Okay, so again, nice and slow. Thank you. So it goes double punch from the front, walking style step through double punch, slower. Snap kick, opposite punch. Snap kick, opposite punch. Side kick, same side punch. Side kick, same side punch. Very good. And at home, it really doesn't matter if it turns out that you got confused about which foot kicked, but yet you still kept going. That's really the whole point of this. So getting the accommodation correct is not the, the priority here. Okay, ready for slow, medium, and fast? Hey. All right, here it goes, ready? One, punch, punch, step through, punch, punch. Snap kick, opposite, snap kick, opposite. Side kick, same side, side kick, same side. How do we do on the pace for that? A little slower. Okay, a little slower, okay. All right, ready, slow, good, a pop. Punch, punch, snap kick, opposite, snap kick, opposite. Side kick, same side, side kick, same side. Any better? Okay, go 0.01% faster. So, okay, ready, go. Punch, 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 punch. Snap, punch, snap, punch. Side, good. How'd we do on that one? Okay, all right, we're gonna go just one tiny step faster for the last one. All right, actually, I want you to not necessarily blow out the water speed. All right, Mr. Ben's got, you know, Full like uh, ludicrous speed, but he's got also like you know he's got down to like you know pee pee speed, so he can land multiple. So in this case, I want to go just a little bit faster, enough to try to lose him, but don't get lost. If you miss a kick, no sweat. Just get the next one. All right, and we'll still call it out. Ready? Go. Punch, 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 punch. Snap, punch, snap, punch. Side punch, side punch. Yeah? No? Yeah. Good job. Good job. Okay. All right. So now. Those were double punches. Now we're going to get into orange, and then we're going to switch gears a little bit. Hey, now, all these are going to punch with the backhand, and we're going to turn the fist. All right, so some of these might say, like, uh, if I put Mr. Ben here, hey. and you're like, all right, got guards up, we've already dialed in, we're ready to fight this, ready to fight, and you're like, well, I can't reach him with this. This is where you're going to start saying, well, what can I do with it? Can I reach with it? I might have to kind of let go of the ground a little bit in order to get that. Right? So these are things you can explore when you're doing this. This will never get to him. Right. I'm just, you know, I have to be like right here in order for that punch to get to. That doesn't make sense. Right. So when you're doing some of them and you feel there's a limitation, practice it. Try to work it out. All right. So facing back towards the, the back here. Same side. So orange belt combination. Number one is a backhand punch. Turn the fist. You know, reverse punch. Number two is a step through punch. Okay. All right. Number three is a snap kick. Looks like yellow belt, only we're turning the fist. Right. Okay. Other side, snap kick, turn the fist. Side kick, coming from the back this time, turn the fist. Other side, turn the fist. All right. So each of them are going to come from the back hand. Number two is kind of, you know, it's more like, you know, I'm stepping through it, still coming from the back hand. Right. Okay. One more time slow. Say so. Okay. Punches, step through. Snap kick, backhand punches, slower snap kick, backhand punches, side kick, backhand punches, side kick, backhand punches. All right, do we have a green light? Thumbs up? Okay. I want to say one, give me slow. Yes, sir. ready? One, pop, 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 pop. Oh, good. Medium. All right, a little bit less than medium or a little more than medium. All right, ready, go. Oh, good. All right, all right. Pass. Straight sir. All right, at home. Let's see what you got. Give him uh, a little bit less than Mr. Ben's feet. Straight sir. All right, ready, go. Pop, 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 <laughs> Fun part, ready? Oh, there we go. 
That's it. There you go. That's it. Looking good. Hey, there you go. Give us a hand. Yeah. When your pro combination is from the red line, it's not about whether or not you memorize the move. It's whatever works. But in this case, you're really getting a good chance to be able to get you know, put heat back on that. Now, we're going to change it up a little bit. Thank All right. Are you ready? Sorry, sir. All right. You need a drink of water. Sorry, sir. Okay. Sorry, sir. All right. So give me one run, a light dog. Light dog. Yes. Get a swish at home. Get a real quick drink at home because we're going to work hard on this next one. Thank All you. right. Make sure that you guys are uh, uh, taking your time and pace how you practice. So in other words, if you go gung ho in the first five minutes and you're spent after minute number like 10, all of a sudden, the rest of the drills, you're just not going to be affected. So however hard you need to push yourself by the end, you should be like, all right, dripping. Uh, but I don't want to see you exhausted after the first couple minutes. Hey. Okay. All right, let's come over to the, the board again this time. So All right. So now we did the continuous combinations, white through orange. Now we're going to put them in a square. And what we're going to do is we're going to use this square and say, I'm going to fire combination number one and have to move. And then fire combination number two and have to move. Now, I'm going to let you at home choose what set of combinations you do this with. Mr. Ben's going to do white through orange with this. But if you say, you know what, I really want to work one set of combinations, that's fine. If you want to keep up with Mr. Ben and do white, yellow, and orange, that's also, that's also perfectly fine. All right, so we're going to work this square here. So let's talk about this square over here. All right, so Mr. Ben, we're going to start with that back left hand side. So, sure. And then we're going to be moving forward just like we did before. Right. And then moving off to the side. And then moving off to the side. And then we got the pattern that is basically working in a, in a, in a rotation. Right. All right. So let's do white belt combinations with this, you know, bare bones, no turning, nothing, nothing sure. fancy. Okay. So white belt number one, and he moves. And number two, and he moves. And three, slower. And four, that's it. Moves the perfect foot, side kick. And finish off with number six, back leg. Okay, easy, easy stuff, right? Nothing too complicated. And now the thing we're gonna add to this is we're gonna add turns. So after each combination, I want you to turn towards the next line. So he throws number one, boom, moves, and faces that next line here. Then he throws number two, boom, moves, and faces the next line. Number three, kick, moves. Number four, slower, and moves. Number five, and then moves, slow, and six, and moves. There you go. And then he's got all six. Okay. So now, what level do you need? Do you need? I I, I got I'm having trouble with square to be in. Then that's your version. That's how you practice it. All right. If you're gonna say, you know what, I'm gonna put this turns in, then do it and try it. Okay. One more time. All right. Nice slow speed. We're gonna say yellow after this. All right. Put the turns in. Say it. All right. One and move. And two and move. And three and move. Four and move, five and move, and six and move. How do we do, Mr. Anna? Thumbs up on that one? All right, excellent. All right. Now let's do it fast. Hey, let's do it fast. All right. Don't sweat how perfect the footwork is. Just move. In other words, when you throw that punch, man, get to that other, get to that other square. All right, here it goes. All your marks. Get set. I'm trying to beat Mr. Ben. Go. Punches and punches and, pu and kicks. I'll get mixed up. And kicks. That's it. And side kicks. And side kicks. Oh, the kick with the wrong leg. Is it right? Is it right? Yes. <laughs> All right. Well done. Well done. All right. So, white belt combinations. If you feel like you got to stick with those white belt combinations, then that would, that's what you do. All right. So, we'll move on to the yellow combinations. Thank Give you. me a slow version first. Double punch. Moves. Double punch. Moves. Snap kick and punch. Snap kick and punch. And side kick and punch. And side kick and punch. Excellent. Okay. So now, again, if you feel like, yeah, that's a lot to work with, then take out the turns or go back to white belt. Again, practice the level that you feel is most appropriate. Okay, you ready to give them an intermediate speed? Say so. Okay, uh, a little faster than the last one, but not too fast. Hey. All right, go on from yellow number one to yellow number six with the turns. Ready, go. Pop and moves. Step through, pop, pop and moves. Snap and backhand punch. Good, keeping the eyes up, keeping the guards up, breathing, moving so that you're not getting yourself all tripped up. Looking good. That's it. Almost there. Looking good. Excellent work. All right, give us a hand. Nice job. Nice job. Nice job. All right. Are, are, are we gasping for air? Are they nothing yet? They want more. All right. Orange belt combination. Then we're going to go slow, and then I want ludicrous speed. Sorry, yes, sir. I want these guys to end up saying, I can't keep up. 
Right. All right, so orange belt, back in punches, show them without the turns. Right. All right, punches and steps and step through a punches and moves, snap kick, opposite punch and slides back, back leg snap kick, opposite punch, front leg side kick, opposite punch, and back leg side kick, opposite punch. Show them a fast version of that. Say so. All right, here goes. This is without the turns. This is just horns one through six on your marks. Get set and go. Punch and step through and snap opposite. And snap, opposite, side kick, opposite, side kick, opposite, and oh, thumbs up. Not too fast, just right, a little slower. All right, all right. Yeah, okay, all right. Again, again, you're, you're, you're racing yourself. You're not racing Mr. Ben. Don't ever think to yourself, oh, wait a second. You know, uh, we were doing combinations earlier. You're comparing yourself to yourself. You're never comparing yourself to someone else's performance. So here goes, I'll put the 90 degree turns a little slower. Say so. All right, so we're turning up for each one. All right, ready? Go. Punches, moves. Sit, take your time. Pop, pop. Make sure it's just right. Boom, boom. There we go. Sit, we're part at home. Boom, that's it. That's one. Pop, and nice. Nice. All right, we got a thumbs up back there. Better, better. Okay, so what is it you're gaining by using this? You, I mean, honestly, you could take any line in your house and say, you know, I'm going to use this for footwork, for awareness. Uh, Mr. Randy even used it for black belt class. This is uh, this was our homework. So if you, if you get a chance to, uh, uh, anybody can watch any class at this point. So you guys can say, hey, let's check out some black belt stuff. We're doing some Kung Gong. I did that when I was, uh, I should have done that too early. But you know what? I, you could learn some of those things. And so he used the same thing. He's talking about moving off to the side. So this is a universal type of concept that you could use at home that's going to help you with your technique. All right, so now. Punches. Say, sir. And kicks. Yes, sir. All right. Be sure. Say, yes, sir. All right. Coming up. Coming up, guys. Thanks. All right. Uh, after reading Mr. Kevin's idea, I was like, <laughs> I think he's like after like everyone to send him hate mail or something. Like they're going to be like, Mr. Kevin, I can't believe you did this to me. So um, I, 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 I put it into a, a simple form here. And basically, we're doing progressive combinations. So four punches. Now, these are not just one, two, three, four, or better yet, one, two, three, four. Oh, absolutely, we hate that. Oh, oh, gives me gives me nightmares. So we'd like to see both, right? right? All right. So not just four punches in the same spot. Working different levels. Working different levels. Highs, lows, hooks, uppercuts. So any and all. All right. And again, with the square first, without the square. Right. Okay. So that they have an idea about what they're working. Sure, sure. All right. Then we're gonna throw three punches with one kick. Any kick that you want, snap, round, side, into, out, out to in. The goal is it's got to make sense. So if I was to throw, um, I'm going to throw three punches, and then by the last kick, I'll, I'll, our last move, I'll throw the kick. So I'm going to throw a punch, punch, punch. I, I don't feel like I'm in a good position to kick with this back leg. I feel like I'm in a better position to kick with that leg because it was set up that way. So when you're doing it at home, if it feels wrong and clunky, you're probably right. So three punches, one kick. Then two punches, two kicks. Then one punch and three kicks, then all kicks. All right, you ready to do this? Yes, sir. Okay. All right, so let's show them an example of what this looks like when they're throwing all four punches. Yes, sir. Um, we'll go slow, medium, and fast real quick, just so that way they can see an example of four punches at four different levels and four different types. Yes, sir. Okay, so give them four slow, slow techniques. There's one, there's two, there's three, and there's four. Okay, something a little different. One, two, a little slower, a little slower, get excited. All right, one more time. Hey. And boom, 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 boom. Okay, that gives you an example about you know, different kinds of punches you could throw. Please don't think that you're limited to just this. Okay? Hey. All right, um, give an example of uh, four different kicks they can do so they have a comparison. Putting one down between? Uh, yes, please. Hey. So there's a snap kick, there's a roundhouse, there's a skip and side kick, and then there's an out to win. Hey. Okay, so please feel free to be able to mix up the order. All right, so now I'm gonna start them facing this way first. So, so I saw the four punches. Now let's do a three punch, one kick combination. Nice and slow. Three punches, one kick at the end. So, so. One, two, three, and kick. Easy, easy, okay? So now two punches and two kicks. Okay. One, two, three, and four, okay? Now one punch and three kicks. So, so. Pop, pop. Um, oh, getting fancy now. Gets a turn back level. You show them that. You say yes, sir. I don't be like, you know, I'm not going to show them the advanced technique because I guarantee you're going to get a white belt that watches this, and they're going to be like, I want to know how to do that. 
And, and yeah, they're going to be your number one fan. Say so, All right, now we saw the four kicks. Now, this, I'm going to throw one more variable. So don't sweat whether or not you do the kick first or the punches. I want you to be feeling free that as long as you get the number, then it's correct. And I'll explain that. All right, four punches is four punches, right? Just, okay, so give me two punches and two kicks, not necessarily in that order. So give me a punch, kick, punch, kick. Say, sir. And we'll see how that works. He's not saying, oh, well, I have to do two punches, then two kicks. Well, I don't like necessarily, I, I like to kick first, really, and then set up my upper body. Like when I'm, when I'm in sparring and the judge says, well, you know, I like to let that hand lead or uh, kind of follow after the kick does. So this is where you're going to be able to be creative. Sure. Okay. Um, so I'll put it in the square. Sorry, sir. All right. I'm going to put him in. I keep call it the octagon. I'm going to put him in, in the square. All right, here it goes. All right. Mr. Ben versus the square. <laughs> All right. So four punches, then move. Yes, sir. Then four punches, then move. And go. I don't want to see no dilly-dallying. And we're, well, we're turning or no turn. It doesn't matter to me at this point. They are, uh, guys at home, you know what you need. All right, so when I say go, I want four punches in every square. Don't be the last one to get done. Don't go too fast. Say it. All right, ready? Go. Punch, 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 punch. Move. Punch, 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 punch. Breathe. Punch, 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 punch. Good. Punch, 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 punch. Oh, there we go. Good. All right. Guys, I'll go ahead and get home. All right, thumbs up. All right, throwing it in there. Three punches and one kick. Just three punches and one kick. Or? Punch, punch, kick. Punch. Right. So as long as you have one kick and as long as you have three punches. Are you ready? On your mark. Good set and go. Pop, 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 pop. Good. There's three punches in there. Pop, pop, pop. A little slower. Pop. Boom, boom, boom. That's it. Pop, pop, pop. pop. Boom. Oh, there we go. Good. All right. Excellent. Thumbs up. All right. They're, they're still, they're still light. All right. Two punches, two kicks. All right. Take a deep breath. Two punches, two kicks. All right. Here goes. Ready? Go. Pop, 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 pop. Next square. Punch, punch. Kick, kick. Oh, get fancy. Punch, punch. Kick and kick. Good. And snap kick. Oh, punch. Oh, and oh. Good. Good. All right. Okay. Say, sir. Was that one punch and three kicks? Say, sir. Okay. Sorry. All right. But restart back to number one. <laughs> All right. Um, so now, when we're throwing this second, this 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 uh, third technique here, I like to see that you guys with uh, give me an out to end kick. Right. All right. From here. All right. When we lay on that foot, I want you to think to yourself, which hand would be the most effective puncher right here? If I was the person on this opposite end here. Is he really going to be able to get me with that hand over there? Unless he's able to twist and turn into a boom. Okay. That's going to take some time. Okay. He might just get a better technique if he throws the back fist or a leading punch and then a backhand punch. One, two. So when you're throwing these kicks and you're like, man, I can't figure out which one is right. I can't figure out which one to kick with or punch with. Your body knows best. If it turns, it feels like, you know, I feel like I'm off balance. Something's wrong. If it feels like it's hard to do, something's wrong. Okay. Thank you. All right, uh, just to make sure we're going to keep it, we're going to put in that one punch with three kicks. Yes, sir. Okay, so again, it could be three kicks and one punch. One punch, one kick, one kick, one kick. Or one kick, one punch, one kick, one kick. Hey. Your choice. All right, slow. Uh, ready, go. Pop. Two. Three. Oh, there we go. Good. Here it comes again. Kick and a punch and a kick and a kick. Good. Sit and punch and a kick and a kick and a kick. And last one. And. Kick and a kick and a kick and a punch. Oh, nice All right, are they dying them yet? Eh? Eh? Are they are they keeping up as best as they can? Yes, sir. That's all I want to hear. Okay, if they fail at being able to produce the technique, they're gonna have a chance to show me in their their home. All right, so in this case, last one, four kicks. Okay. All right, so now when we're throwing kicks, you know. Yes, I know we, we have limitation in terms of spark, a rule, let's call it, that we don't get below the belt for safety reasons, and we all understand that. Um, in reality, uh, we're talking two different things. We're talking the spar ring, and we're talking, well, what happens in real life if I had to kick low? Well, then I can kick low. Um, if you need to kick someone in the shins because, you know, they're trying to put their hand on you, well, then there's a way it's like, I can't kick you in the shins. It's against the rules. So you got to understand there's a line between that. I so when we're throwing this, you can change the context. You can change, well, what's the rules? If this is spar rules, I want all four kicks above the belt. Which I should see all kicks above the belt. So in other words, if I see low kicks when we do this, I should see uh, 
uh, you know, if we're truly doing spark, I shouldn't see any of these snap kicks that we decided to end up getting high. I'm going to throw my snap kick into that. Boom! And all of a sudden, I kicked him in the shins, even though I was looking to hit him in the gut. That's poor form. It's not cool. So, again, if the context is spar and all above the belt, if the context is out of spar, then kick wherever you want. Kick him in the toes, kick him in the shins, kick him in the belly button, kick him in the head. Well, I don't like head kicks in reality. We'll talk about that later. So, let's have a conversation. So, we'll get push ups and we can get out. Give me a spar verse. So, in other words, all right. I don't want to. All right. Give me some push ups. All right. Push ups for low kicks. Here comes. All right, Mr. Ben, too. Thank you. All right, he's going to get your push-ups. You hear me? I'm going to give Mr. Ben push-ups if you kick below your belt. Thank you. All right. Everyone give me a thumbs up back there. Uh, okay. okay, good. All right, four kicks. Chase him. All right, ready? Go. One, two, three, four. All above the belt. Good. One, two, three, four. Good. Let's get a little bit Mr. Ben. Nice pace, too. Two, three, and four. Looking great. Last one. Pop, pop. Pop, pop. Oh, nice. Oh, Mr. Ben, get five push-ups. Nice. Oh, man. All right. The hand came up. The hand came up. Mr. Ben, what did you Thank do? You, sir. All right. I'm not going to name any names. I'm not going to name any names. You know who you are. You going to do it again? Thank sir. All right. How do we fix this, Mr. Ben? I'm going to keep I, I, I know that. I know that. I, I know that you, you, you're keeping, keeping your kicks up. Okay. Um, they're learning through you. Thank you, sir. Okay. Uh, and when you are doing your technique at home, what advice would you give to them for the ones that are kicking below the belt? Besides the fact they shouldn't do it, but I'm talking about how do we avoid that? I mean, it's a matter of pacing and slow, slow down the grace multiple times. Okay, can you show them what that means? Bye. You ever, ever see that? Took his time, wasn't rushing to go through it. I really think that sometimes that, that you're just so focused on getting the kicks done that you're not paying attention. I think the second answer is pinpoint Pinpointing what you're going to hit. So if Mr. Ben is throwing a, a random kick and he's looking nowhere, his kick's going to go nowhere. You didn't have any idea. If I said, if I said, point your finger towards my finger, that's easy because your finger knows where it is. Okay, in your eye seat. If I said, kick to where my finger is, that's the he has something that he's aiming at. If I just said, show me a snap kick, and you don't have a target in mind, that's where you're going to get hit or miss. Okay, ready? Ready, Mr. Anna? All right, four kicks above the belt. Yes, sir. Slow pace. All right, go. One, two, keep it up. Keep it up at home. Don't give me no low kicks. Come on there, there's one, there's two. Keep it up. Focus, take your time. Sit, come on, pop, 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 good. Come on now, that's it. Pop, pop, pop. Tell me we got no low kicks. No low kicks. Thumbs up. She's giving me like a, a, a squint, a squint. Okay, we'll tell you what. Hmm, hmm. All right, I got an idea. All right, this is on the fly. All right, can everyone see my hands? Everyone see Hi. my hands? All right, so you're gonna look at your screen. And what you're gonna do quickly is you're gonna take your finger, now obviously I can't see you, but you can see me. And if I put my hand over here, I want you quickly to point towards where my hand is. Are they doing it, Mr. Wayne? Yes. Okay, point towards my hand. Yes or no? Yes. Point towards my hand. Yes. That's taking a long time. Come now. Point towards my hand. Yes. Okay. All right, so now, if I say, here's my hand, I want you to throw a side kick that's going to aim towards my hand. Kick my hand. Don't kick the computer. <laughs> Don't kick the computer. The goal is, is like right now, I'm aiming towards Mr. Randy here. He's holding the camera. Now I'm going to aim towards that camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kick right towards it. So here's my side kick. Pop. Okay. All right. Right towards it. That's what I'm doing. I'm aiming towards something. So that's what I want my hand to be. You're aiming towards something that's in front of you. Nothing different than on that spar line. Okay. All right. So you guys are saying the, the uh, let's call it, what's that? Risk. Because I like to see that those kicks are definitely above your belly button. Um, and lastly, I like to make sure that you, uh, I, well, it's about fair play too. So, All right. You know, when you guys are on the squad right here, bring, a, bring a Mr. Bender here. So when we're ready to fire, you know, first off, 
I, I trust Mr. Ben, and, I, and he trusts me. And when I kick him in the shins, bang, okay, first off, you know, there's nothing to protect his leg. My heel, there's nothing, there's no padding on it. All right, when I snap kick him in, in the guts, there's padding there. So I'm going to train with him, and he wants to train with me, so I, I, that, that's fair play. Right, but then you also got to consider safety. What if I do kick someone in the lower region or in the knee and, and, and the leg gets locked out? How would you feel if someone hurt themselves because of that low kick? You probably feel horrible, right? Okay. Now, again, I'm considering this is the context of spar. So when you're throwing these kicks, obviously this is going to be to, to, tell, to know exactly what their homework is going to be. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. They're going to love me. All right, Mr. Kevin will be proud. All right. In reality, out there, there's 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 not there's nothing holding back from where that kick goes. It's all coming down to the situation. So if if he's throwing a side kick down here because of the fact that he is. He's going after our target. Well, I, I'm going to tell you right now, I'd rather kick you in the shins. I will never kick someone in the head in a, a self-defense situation. This Self-defense is not fighting. You know, fighting is, if fight, this is fighting, okay? And we are sparring. We are not fighting. Let's understand three different words here. Sparring is a game of tap. Let's take off the gear, let's have a fight. All right, different, right? All right, now self-defense. Should be a matter of it's done. It's not let's see how long we can trade. Does everyone understand that at home? There's a big difference behind this. So when you guys are focusing on doing your technique and spar, you got to play by the rules and you got to consider the situation. Safety is important. We're not just having a knockdown, drag out fight. So I've got to have those kicks above the belt. In a fighting situation, you're both kind of aware of each other, and it's no longer a surprise situation. And you got to have to deal with this person, and he's going to have to deal with you. In self-defense, this is when I'm really going to go with it. I'm going to kick whatever target's available. It's All right, if he, it's like a snake. A snake fights whatever it, you know, it gets exposed to. You know, if I'm going to reach my hand out to the snake, the snake doesn't say, oh, that back leg looks exposed. I'm going to fight it. No, they're going to bite the hand. That's what I want you to be. You're the snake. As soon as the punch comes out, I'm going to bite it. I'm going to eventually work my way to it. But I'm telling you, in self-defense, I go with whatever works. But we've got to consider context. We've got to consider the spark. All right, ready for some homework? So you start. All right, so homework. I'd like to see that you guys are going to be able to meet this head on and have 100% I, I, that you are responsible for yourself when you throw these kicks. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a four kick combination. Okay. And I'm looking for a demonstration of five four kick combinations. Here's the thing. Miss Anna and I did our video submission the other day, and we're doing tape back. And we had three outtakes because we were not prepped because we had to be like, all right, wait, 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 wait. you didn't start? You didn't start? Ah, oh, okay, go to Shumbi. All right, it was super funny. You would have left. But th this is the thing. You're going to get, how many was it? Five. Five four directional kicks. One of those kicks is out. Guess what? You got to start it over. No video. You editing? No, let me cut it. Wait a second. I can I can chop this and I can put the other two in there. Mr. Eric's gonna think that I got them all at once. No, 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 no. So in other words, if you're throwing a kick, I throw a kick, I throw a kick, I throw a kick, you're like ah, the last kick on the fifth set, I kicked low. I guess you have to re-record it. Yes, sir. You understand what I'm? You understand what I'm saying back there? So the stuff that I want to see is I want to see consistent focus on kicking above your belly button. 100. percent Okay. Make sense? Thumbs up on that. Five, four. Kick combinations, all of them over the belt. Thumbs up. I need a question. Sure. Okay. Let's go over the questions before we uh, switch gears for the last thing. All right. During the we're not committing full power in matches. When we are doing these drills, should we be committing full power with awareness of surroundings? Or are we running these drills as if we're sparring? Okay. Very good question. Okay. All right. Let's come over here to the back for just a second. Hey. All right. Uh, this is not how I'm going to hit and spar. I would never hit someone like that. That's a malicious force. Hey. Okay. If I did that, I guarantee whatever's going to happen is going to be the end of the fight. It's sure. not playing fair. It's not safe. Okay. All right. I'm not going to do this either. Okay. This is my this is my tap. I'm not hitting with everything that I got. And when I hit Mr. Bend, okay. You don't see this. So you don't see a whole lot of follow through that way. Right. I'm not putting all of me into it. When I practice, I want you to practice with control and consideration. 
that when you are training, you're developing your ability to say, I'm in charge of my muscles. I did a, uh, a lesson with this earlier today, where the goal was, I'm gonna go as fast as I can, and I'm only just gonna touch it, I'm just gonna touch the shoulder. Okay, there, right there. But I'm not hurting him. Right. I'm not hitting him and injuring him. But I'm also not putting any less energy into it. I'm putting good energy into it. I'm just using control. Now I can also practice the same kind of thing, and I'm actually gonna have the adult class very similar to this, is that I know myself enough to say, I can stop and not hit him. So I'm still putting energy into it. I'm not doing this just because. So the answer to the question, I know the long-winded answer, I want you to put 100% effort and 100% control into your technique. I don't wanna see that you're going crazy, throwing the kick and all of a sudden you end up you know, throwing that side kick into their gut and doubling them over. This is not uh, MMA that way. We're not looking for maximum power behind each kick. Make sense? Thumbs up, Ms. Joanna? Did I give an answer to that, that question? Excellent. All right, last thing here. I know we're on time. All right, red strike requirements. Just to make sure that you guys understand, and this is for our purple belts, our ground twos, and our uh, probies, I believe. Okay? All right, so for our purple belts, the goal is I like to see that you got good rhythm and that you understand how to be able to get in and get back out. And then you know how to break rhythm. So once you're in that particular rhythm, that you're able to find a way to be able to stop it. Here's a real quick example of that. Okay, so Mr. Ben and I are going back and forth. You know, this is not how we spar, but you'll get the idea. So if I was to change the rhythm of that, it upsets him. So when we're sparring back and forth, and we have a particular rhythm about each other, I can use my, my break with my rhythm. When he expects me to back up, I don't. And when he expects me to move forward, I don't. I change something. And I get him to be like, what was that? It's his mental upset. Next step, next set is going to be for your round two combination, or your two, your round two uh, red strike. That is your two kick, or two upper body and lower body combinations, of two step combination, right. moving forward twice. So if I'm coming towards the camera here, this is only one. This is only one. I'm not moving forward. I'm gonna throw one and then two. Even though there was four moves there, I advanced. So one, two. Here's another one. One, two. I'm coming forward twice. I'm actually making the camera back up twice. Now we're a pro -y. Now we're working on three-step combinations. Three moves forward, three moves pushing the person back. So I'm gonna do, there's one move. Here's a second move. Here's a third move. Even though there's multitudes of moves coming out, and it's far, you know, you're moving around a whole lot, you're not gonna get them to go back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. It's not gonna work that way. Right. What's gonna happen is, I'm gonna give you three. There's one, there's two, here's three. And the goal was tracking. Not one and stop, let him do his thing. When he's moving out of the way, here's my one, here's my two, and here's my three. Okay. I'm getting him to back up. And if it turns out that I have to find an opportunity in there to block or whatever, that's gonna happen. But ultimately, it's combinations. That's the answer for that. Red strike, red strike requirements, that's what I'm looking for. All right, guys, well done at home. I'm really, really hoping that you guys can give me a good submission. I want. All of those kicks above the belt. Yes, ma'am. Um, the advancing does not have to be in a straight line. Sparrow really just goes back and forth in a straight line. So just remember that. That's what just happened. That's, oh, very good. Okay, that's absolutely correct. If it turns out that you, I've seen actually at, at tournaments, I've seen someone throw a sidekick as they're backing up and get a winning point. I, it was amazing. It was like, actually, it's like, whoa, boom, and as they're fly backwards. Um, so in this case, if, if Mr. Ben's coming towards me and I go, boom, that's, that's part of my technique. I, I'm backing up and firing back at him. That, it doesn't have to be moving forward in order for the combination to be effective. Okay. But I would like to see three sets of movements. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Get a drink. If you're taking adult class, be ready for me in a couple minutes. Well done today, guys. One sound. Ready? Jump. Thank you for teaching me. You're dismissed me. Escape. Good work.